Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIoT. In today's class, we are going to start a new topic called Integration of Sensors and Actuators with Arduino. Okay, so we have till now all the sessions we have seen with respect to the Arduino programming, right? So in these topics, we are going to see what is a sensor and what are the different types of sensors and how these sensors are interfaced with the Arduino. We are going to see theoretically as well as practically. And at the last, how these actuators are connected to the Arduino. And once the sensors take the data and give to the Arduino, so based on the programming, how they react with the actuators, we are going to see. Okay. So all these things we are going to see in the experimental form, like uh, practical sessions as well. Okay. So before getting into those uh, practical session or the experiments, first see what is a sensor. Okay. So to keep it simple, a sensor is a device that listens to the physical environment and tells you what happens. Okay. So this particular sensor is an electronic uh, device. Okay. Made of uh, several minute uh, uh, circuit as well as uh, uh, transistors and several uh, components or several combinations. Okay. Where it takes the uh, data or parameters of the physical environment like smoke, fire, air quality, okay, humidity, temperature and whatnot. Okay. So as human is having several types of sense organs, these sensors also almost works as same thing. Okay. So using these sensors, we take the input and give it to the Arduino board where Arduino will be processing those input and give the required output, okay? So each sensor is able to listen a specific input that can be, uh, as I've already said, it can be a light, it can be a sensing a heat, it can be sensing a motion, uh, capturing the moisture or a pressure, or it can be any kind of environmental phenomena, okay? Now let's see different types of sensors. So there are lots and hundreds of sensors with respect to Arduino, okay, in which uh, here are some of the sensors where uh, we have a photoresistor sensor model, okay, flame sensor, shock sensor, obstacle avoidance sensor, you can also call it as IR sensor, which is very much famous, tilt sensor, okay, DHT, uh, uh, digital humidity temperature sensor, uh, MQ2 gas sensor, sound sensor, ultrasonic sensor, uh, HCSR04, laser sensor module. We also have a uh, human infrared sensor module, okay? So we have wireless trans receiver modules and we have uh, uh, tracing sensor, touch sensor, soil moisture sensor, drain sensor and whatnot. There are lots of sensors in order to interface with the Arduino. Any sensor you name, okay? All the sensors work is only one in order to take the data or read the parameters with respect to the natural environment or the physical environment, okay? Now, coming to an actuators, actuator is a device that converts energy into a moment, okay? So, we already know what is that which converts the energy or an electrical energy into a moment? Obviously, motors, right? Okay? So, these actuators are mainly considered as it can be valves or it can be motors. Motors are of different shapes and sizes and different uh, features, right? So mostly any device, whenever you give some sort of energy or a supply or some sort of voltage or current, it need to have movement. It converts the electrical energy or the energy into the movement. So mostly actuators are considered to be the motors of various varieties, okay? We can also say, uh, whenever you give supply, uh, it need to show some sort of output, okay? Sometimes you can also say a loudspeaker, LED, display or some sort of uh, output devices can also be considered as the actuator. But in real time, okay? But if you need to be specific, okay? Motors can be considered as the best example of an actuator. So with respect to the topic integration of sensors and actuators with Arduino, we are going to see some experiments like we will be interfacing sensors to the Arduino and we are going to see the output. And not only that, we are going to interface 
some sensors to the Arduino and based on the sensor input, we are going to see how this actuator or the motor behaves. Okay, thank you.